So here's the instructions for uh, setting up and using the projector. So you unlock this uh, front cover by pressing down this button and it just pulls off. And the first thing we do is put this wheel, so I can do like that. And when you open it up, it starts off like this. Click it over and just put on the sound forward and load on the uh, we go with the film on it, <laughs> don't drop it. Now what you want to watch out for is you'll see perforations down the side here. You want to make sure these are facing on the outside, so facing this way, not in towards the machine. And then you have a switch here. You have a switch here in three positions. That's still that's reverse and that's forward. Make sure it's in the forward position, loading the thumb in. The key when loading the film in the mechanism is that you essentially put the film in here and then you press down, once the motor's running, you press down on this one here, it says push on it. You'll see both guides move. And you keep that pressed down until the film works its way through and comes out here, which point you let that go and you let enough uh, film spool out so you can wind it around the system and back onto the, the sort of take-up reel here, but I'll show you that in a moment. As I say, you put the film in here, you make sure this is in the forward position and you turn the motor on, just one click of the switch here and press that down. If you want it start to come out, you take your finger off let enough come through. So once you've got enough film out, you make sure you spool it round about on the wheels at the bottom. And you come round and you find the slot on the take-up reel. Fiddly doing it from this angle. around a little bit and then what I find helps quite a lot actually is you put just a little bit of tension on this it stops it jumping back out and then when you're ready to go you just simply flick the switch up two clicks to the lamp setting and it'll start showing the movie So as you can see, once it's finished, double click, put it to the off position. Now what you do is you make sure you take this lever here and push it down to the reverse position and then we load the film back on the small reel. Now, what works quite well with this one is you put a little bit, just a little bit of tension on this reel here with just the size of your finger and click this on to the motor position to run it back on. And that's it, put it back in its box. A couple of things to be careful of is don't move the projector uh, until the bulbs cool down properly. Never move it when the bulbs actually on. The bulbs are very, very fragile in these things and they're quite hard, quite hard to get hold of actually. Uh, down here you'll see there's a switch called Framer so that when you put the, uh, when you focus your image onto the screen, if it's slightly out, you can adjust the Framer just to kind of move the frame up or down within the, uh, within, on the screen so you get the best image possible. And that's it. Have fun. Just treat it gently. It's quite fragile.